Hi everybody, it's your girl Maylin. <laughs> and I am here today to show you my plants. I'm gonna only really do my living room for you guys. It's about 200 square feet of plants. If you make it to the end of the video, there's like a little challenge because there's a lot of plants. And most of the plants that you see here today, you could actually buy at your local hardware store, your plant stores, your nurseries, they're seen everywhere. And I kind of like that. And I'm still trying to, I'm still intimidated by rare plants, but yet I buy them and spend precious, precious coin on them. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So enough of this intro. <laughs> I hope you enjoy my tour of my living room. I'll see you in a bit. I am super, super excited to get started on this living room plant tour, but I wanna make sure that you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification so you can get all the updates on when I post new content. Now, I wanna preface this by saying that I didn't water or prune all my plants to make everything look perfect. I figure I show you guys my place, my plants as they are. And we're starting here with my saloon. Uh, this used to live by my bed and all the older leaves have been karate chopped off. It's extremely root bound, but it has new growth, so I'm not mad. And this right here is my philodendron pie by penamum. I don't know how to say it. And it's been growing like crazy. It has a new growth back there. And as you can see, it's in Lekka. It loves the Lekka. I'm like so glad that I started putting stuff in semi-hydro. It's just really been helping my plants thrive. Whoops, I dropped the phone. <laughs> or my camera. Oops. This one is, I want to say, a Hoya longifola. Just says Hoya species. I got this at the LA Summer Swap and I haven't figured out how to take care of it, but I'm gonna water it today and we're gonna check that guy out later. Up here is my Spanish moss, my old man beard, and up there is a fake plant. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the jig is up. I have a fake plant. It just never left there. I haven't thought to move it. And this is definitely a dead Tillandsia. It's a dead air plant. Um, R.I.P. Sorry. Wow, we're going off on a really good start so far, guys. I'm dead plants and all that stuff. Moving on, this is my Monstera Stanleyana. It's not variegated, but who needs the variegation when you have this cute pot? Let me show you the pot, actually. I love this Stanleyana. I got it from my friend Nelson, and this guy is so cute. My friend also gave this, a separate person gave this to me, and I told her, hey, I want an Ethereum Clarinervium, and it's my dream plant. And I ended up getting my dream plant, and you're gonna see that in a little bit. So I spoke that into existence, you know what I'm saying, guys? You gotta speak your dreams into existence. And I just love this plant. It's so cute. It's a little curled because it needs to get watered, but that's what today's for. It's watering day. And down here is my, let me start with my Diefenbachia. I talk about this a lot when I go out to plant tours because I really like this plant, highly recommend. It has huge leaves, and it's kind of beat up because, well, it's a survivor. It's fine. This is my Sansevieria. It's the Cylindrica version. There's a dead leaf. Whoops. Um, but there's new growth, so it's fine. And moving on, we're going to go check out my new baby. It's my Philodendron Moonlight, and it's so cute. It's very dry right now, and I will be watering it and probably repotting it. I literally got this maybe like a week ago and i'm excited to give it its own pot and some Ooh, guys look at ollie say hi to ollie hi that's an eraser <laughs> and this guy is my philodendron silver sword yeah boy it's a little crusty it's right next to my couch and i've kicked it over many times <laughs> but it has new growth it has this new guy and there's another leaf over there it's just it's gonna be fine it's a plant i kind of abuse them but it's okay i hope they still love me because i still love them and guys that's this corner i love it i love this little corner 
Yes, it's so jungly. Now, I want to show you these guys. This is a Pepper Romeo, so cute. I got this from a plant swap. And this one as well, I got a lot of these from plant swaps. This is a silver squill, super cute. This is also something from my friend actually gave this to me. It was really cute. It's awesome. And now this is my pulchra. It's my Pelonia pulchra. I have two of them because if it's cheap enough, I'll buy two so I can give one to a friend. And I think that's super nice. And here's my little letter board. It says Alex loves Maylin. This is very true. And this is my ZZ Raven. It's a little nub. And don't look at that or look at it because I'm pointing it out. Oops. Uh, it's okay. It fell over. The dirt came out. The sun wasn't good enough for it. Oh, well, it died. It's my string of dolphins. It's okay. I'll live. And this guy over here, let me pull him over, is my crown of thorns. It's such a cool plant. And I have it in this little planter that my boss gave me. It used to have succulents, but those died. <laughs> and this guy over here, I forget the name. I'll put it down. But it has new growth. And it there's a like a ball. My bad. And it's doing better. Uh, I wasn't sure how to get it. I got it from Bad Boy Plants. And if you don't follow him, he's really fun. I love him. And now I got the littlest guy here. This is the littlest, littlest cactus. I love him. He's so cute and spiky. Alex hates cactus. If you don't know who Alex is, he's my boyfriend. And he used to live in Vegas. And he has a lot of trauma from cacti. Moving on. This is my ZZ plant. It's the regular version. Up there was my Raven ZZ, which is dark dark leaves but i have always loved this plant it's one of my first plants it's the first plant i repotted with alex and it's kind of our love plant i love that plant so so much thank you for loving me and being the easiest thing and making me confident as a plant person now this big boy i got this somewhere in covina and they weren't selling a lot of them but it was really cheap and i got like so much it's so big but check this out it's <laughs> straight up growing out of the nursery pot it just like busted out and i was like dude you're doing something um i just left it alone that's the old leaf sorry it's still it's yellow da, 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 da. i might have overwatered it it's fine we're fine we're fine we're fine <laughs> no big deal guys no big whoop Starting on my table, this is my Raphidophora tetrasperma. It used to have a lot of plants, or leaves, what the hey. It had leaves, more leaves than this one. I just couldn't make this happy, so you know what? I'm going to try to keep working with it. I put in a new soil medium in it, and you know, I talk around the community and ask, like, what's better for it? And this is what the consensus was, so I did that, trying to, in hopes to make it better. But all is well, I bought a new one, because I am impatient and want pretty plants. Moving on! This is my Philodendron Gloriosum. It's very beautiful and veiny, I, like I'm a sucker for dark leaves and white veining, like that's amazing. And back here, oh. I should probably wash this. I'm so glad I'm doing this, guys, because now I know what plants I need to wipe down and make pretty and squeaky clean. It has a new leaf coming. I'm so excited to see what that looks like. It's so exciting to watch a new leaf pop up. And I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled, guys. This is such a great plant. I recommend it to... Oh, that's me. My bad. Moving on. Let's... This is my Pylea peppermoides. I need to do a hydro flush on it. It used to be a bigger plant. Um, I saved some cuttings for insurance because my mother plant ended up dying. But now this one's coming up with new plants and it's so cool. So if you fail, take some cuttings first <laughs> as insurance folks so you can still have your plant. Just pro tip. <laughs> Now this guy over here, I love watermelon shaped plants. You're going to see I have a bunch of those kinds, but I made a trellis for it and it's made out of chopsticks and matchsticks and I kind of glued it together and it wanted to make a trellis up and you know, it looks cool. 
Love that. And this is my philodendron pasta zainum. I want to say that's how you say it. I'm going to turn it a little bit. Boom. Wow. I mean, look how rippling it is. It's so pretty. I love this plant because look at that leaf. Is she looking fine? Oh, guys, it's Hula the Hippo. Yeah, I have a lot of toys. I'm a child. I know you're going to see one more. I don't know where he's hidden, but you'll find my design. I can't speak dinosaur. <laughs> and this is my Ethereum Clary Nervium. Um, you, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see my unboxing of this guy. Amazing. Uh, this is my Raphidophora. I world vomit word vomit what raffa devora this is my new one that i got for 15 bucks at armstrong garden center you best believe that sir and now i'm gonna put him over next to my other raffa devora hopefully you know i heard this it might be the pertusa but honestly i don't care they look like mini monsteras at the end of the day who gives a care i don't give a care they're cute they have splits check so, moving on, like I said before, I have a lot of watermelon looking things. And this didn't go well in shipping. It didn't it didn't do well, but um this is actually infinitely better than it was when I first got it. Infinitely. You have no idea. But anyway, I put new soil in it. I need to water it and hopefully it'll perk up for me later. Now moving on. This is my Alocasia Friday. 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 Gotta get down on Friday. That's not the melody, Malin. Moving on, this has a new leaf, which I love. Look at this veining. I'm such a sucker for dark leaves, and this white veining is amazing. And this one doesn't have a lot of veining because it's an older leaf, but these new two leaves have giant veining in the middle, and it's gorgeous. And it's glorious. I love it. Oh, I'm going to show you this older leaf. See how dark that one is? But I can't wait for the other ones to kind of harden up and get darker. Oh, so beautiful. I love you. And this is my Calathea Vitata. Vitia? I don't know how to say it. I love, like I said, stripes. I love pretty plants. Who doesn't love a pretty plant? This is a pretty plant, in my opinion. I got this from Gabriella Plants, and they ship really well. I recommend them. Now, this is my Calathea Mosaica. I gave the mother plant away during my ugly plant swap excursion with some of my plant community friends in LA. Shout out. Denise ended up getting the mother plant, and we got to talking about what kind of soil it should be in it. And I'm going to try to change it today. Now, this is my... Oh. I dropped. Whoops. This is my pink princess. Kind of. More like pink diva. I don't know. It didn't like soil, so I put it in Lekka. Then it didn't like Lekka, and it just doesn't like me. I'm convinced it doesn't like me. I, the Lekka's not working. Nothing is working. I put it by the humidifier. I don't know. G help a girl out and tell me how to make this pink princess happy. Because I want to make it happy too. But it just doesn't like me. And I'm going to pull out one of my favorite plants. This is the only hope. The Peperomia Hope. I love you. You want to know why I love this plant? It makes me feel like a good plant parent. Look at all this new growth. I mean, hello. Is it me you're looking for? It's pregnant, pregnant, pregnant. So much pregnancy. There's a lot of plant and it's growing. I'm so happy. I love that plant. Good job. Now this guy that jumped into the frame. Yeah, this one is my big boy. This is my Monstera Deliciosa Thai Constellation. My variegated Thai Constellation is insane. It has its own moisture meter because I am terrified that this new leaf won't come out properly. So I'm always like, okay, yep, I want to know when this is dry so i could make sure this baby just survives because <laughs> it's pregnant and i'm like man this pregnancy is giving me so much anxiety but guys look at this leaf look at this leaf it's gorgeous it's gorgeous and i just love it so much can't believe i have a variegated monster speaking of variegated monster this is my second variegated monster that's right folks i have two this is my albo borsigiana 
I think that's how you say it. It's in Lekka, because you know what? I paid for this one, and I figure might as well try and fail. <laughs> and this one is my Daifenbaki reflector, although it does kind of look like a Vichia, like the Dirum Vichia with this rippling leaf. Like, look at that. It's like stacked, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, dude. What's up? And over here, let me pull them out. This is my Alocation Maharani that I unboxed in a video. So if you want to see that one, check it out. It was so great. It, the shipping was great. Um, I lost the leaf because the new leaf is coming. That's what I tell myself to make myself feel better. Moving on. Um, we're going to go up, 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 up to my Monstera Adansonii. This is such a funny plant. I, and you'll see why. Its nodes are activated. It's just this one long vine that's standing straight up. That one's burned. Let's ignore that. But it has all this new um, stuff because with the cakey paste. Look at this alien. I'm an alien. I love it. Thank you. It's such a weird plant. It's one of my favorites. Like, look at it. He's so funny. I just can't. Uh, it's so paper thin too like i'm so terrified of breaking it so i'm gonna stop touching it now i'm going to my syngonium potophyllum elbow variegatum gosh that's like so hard to say it is my variegated arrowhead it's a little burned the new leaf is a little burned it's fine um i will fix whatever and i kind of cut this up a bunch of times to give to friends and i'm happy to do that but i think i'm gonna take a break <laughs> so it can recover so it's new leaves can be happy. This is my Alocasia Silver Dragon, and I'm so frustrated because it's just so little, and I'm like rubbing my little unicorn horn for good luck. Please get better. Now there's a Plaumani nub in here. I love my nub. It's oh, wait, oh god, I think I buried it too deep. I'll change that later, but it's in there. I promise, it's in there. <laughs> Up here is my crocodile fern. It's one of <laughs> these are the last standing leaves, guys. <laughs> and how can you say no to that kind of like texture? It's so cool. This is my Hori Horia Hoya Cortesii from uh, I got this at the PCC not plant swap, but fair. And this is my other toy. There that's the last one, guys. I'm not I have there it is. <laughs> And then, <laughs> I don't know what this is, guys. This is, uh, I thought it was the Aglionema spill, Aglionema spilled milk. Someone told me it might be Ethereum. I don't know, but help me find out. Uh, this guy, what is it? Oh my god, is it dead? Yo, it's dead. I'm gonna move it. My bad, guys. <laughs> Oh, bad parent moment. But let's look at this. Let's look at this. New pictures. I'm not that bad of a plant parent. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. this is so much better. This is not dead. Look at you. Yeah, you eat those flies. And that's a picture plant. This is my Calathea ornata. I got this from my best, best, best friend. He used to live downstairs. But when he moved to Boston, he actually got me a present because he was like, you are losing your mind. I'll get you a plant <laughs> and enable you. And I appreciate that. Love you, Tanner. Now, moving on. This is my Calathea Beauty Star. See the old stripes on here? You can tell that um, when it gets older and, you know, more mature, they lose that kind of cool white veining. And now this one is my Calathea Orbifolia. It started as a bubby. And now it's a big bubby. And it's like, and it's like, it's a first grader now. I'm excited. And this is my Calissa Rippins. Um, I got it for like two bucks. <laughs> And kind of ignored it. I should change that. Some cuttings. Moving on. This is my um macro. It's my Hoya macrophylla variegata. I have a bigger plant, and I just take cuttings for insurance. And one cutting didn't make it, but this one did. And this is Alex's corner. Yep, this is the only corner he gets. Uh, as opposed to me, I get all of this table, and he gets this. Not that I don't use. I He makes really great drinks. Just come over and you'll see. We'll make dinner. It'll be cute. We'll have some cool cocktails. That'll be really nice. So come over. Now up here, let's go up to the first level of shelving. Oh, that's a yellow leaf. Don't look at that. 
Look at this. Look at my philodendron Rio Sport. I almost fumbled because I have a Brazil and there's a Rio and there's a Rio Sport. There's so many different varieties of this philodendron. And I love this one because it has this creamy, like, ew, I said the word creamy. Please ignore me. Moving on. This is my silvery ant. Like I said, this is another... There's like a pothos version and there's like a philodendron version. I mean, there's so many different types of plant and I like this one. I just need to water it. It's fine. This is my jade pothos, folks. Jade and trailing. Look at her go. She is living her best life, giving me more new leaves. I highly recommend this plant to all my newbie plant people. It's just that classic gorgeous green leaf plant that trails and is gorgeous now this guy back here is <laughs> if you know what it is you know what that is my friends you know what it is say no more now this is my hoya polynura i'm actually gonna send this off to root and stem tropicals to kind of put it in her icu and we're gonna co-parent this plant together. She'll send me back cuttings, and I'm really excited because it'll be in better hands with her. <laughs> That's an understatement. I'm still new, folks. I'm still learning. And over here is my philodendron micans. I swear to God, I bought like 20 of these when it was only, f I don't know, there's so many. And I kind of like scaled it down because I had a lot of micans. I gave some away. I sold some. And I love this plant because look how velvety. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Blessed. Now I'm going to go to the other side. Sorry if it's a little shaky. This whole thing has been shaky. That's my variegated string of hearts that I got from Sharina. Um, she has her own YouTube channel. And between her and Heart Shaped Leaves, those are the two main people that really encouraged me to start my own YouTube channel because... <laughs> <laughs> why not and now you're here because of them so shout out to those guys for being awesome check out their channels they're awesome ladies this has a lot of new growth my little string of hearts my vegan string of hearts it's a weedo look at a weedo, weedo, weedo but i got that from the la summer swap from sharina and now uh, this is my pothos enjoy i love this plant it's like a cutting that i got from eden at the summer swap as well and look at the roots is the little baby roots and now i'm gonna move on to you know what? i'm i have a lot of plant friends i also got this from a plant friend called deep plantiful life this is my cebu blue it's so lush now it came with like maybe six or six leaves and now look at it it's so big and now i took a cutting from it and it's propagating in water and it's doing its thing and it's living its life and it's trailing down and back here i took these cuttings from my office plant this is a marble queen pothos and just look at the variegation on this. Don't look at the dead leaf in the back. Look at this marbling. Ooh. Uh, ah. <laughs> yes. Love it. Love this little corner. This is like my friendship corner. Now, this guy. This is my philodendron cordatum. It's like the cutest, fullest, luscious, beautifulest plant ever. It makes me feel like I'm in a jungle. And look at these new leaves. It's so cute. If it would focus, you could see it. There, it's focused. Yes. Focus on me. Fa, fa, focus on me. Woo. I hope I don't get copyrighted. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I love this plant. It's just so bushy and it's such an easy plant. This is also an easy plant. These are a couple cuttings from my philodendron brazil like before i had my rio sport that i showed you this is kind of its cousin sister from a different mister and this is the black pagata it's a lipstick plant because the shape of the leaves look like lips if you tilt your head to the side look at the back Ooh, it's purple it's purple and it's so pretty it has a cool little little drawing it looks like it's drawn on i love it nature is so rad so yeah guys that's my shelf that's the first shelves on both sides now i'm gonna move on to the top shelf over here so i'm not working too hard i got this from a family member and i don't know what it is i think it's a ripsalis it's a cactus who knows moving on <laughs> help me find out this is my golden pothos it's wild it is just so leggy and i need to figure out a different way to make this happy my boyfriend's like you need to propagate it melon like you're so wise alex thank you and that's not sarcastic i'm he is wise i got this because those white leaves man those all white leaves like it was 
I didn't want a golden pothos, but I wanted this one. Now, this is a orchid cactus that I got from the summer swap. Love it. It's growing. And now I'm going to move on to this ripsalis and this ripsalis. I'm going to call them A and B, and there's one over there that I'll call C because I don't know. I think this is the por there's a portana and there's like the paradox. I don't know. I help me figure it out. And this one is my ghost euphorbia that I got from Monstera Maven. So cute. It, I love it. It's so cool. And I totally just saw a spider out there. Let's ignore that. Let's just keep walking. I'm going to step down. Ooh, wow. Okay. I'm going to step down and we're just going to ignore the fact that I have a pest. It's fine. I'm just going to address it after this video, guys. Loki freaking out. Moving on. Look how long this guy is. This is my string of hearts. Yeah, just sweep that other issue under the rug and move on to fantastic things. This is my string of hearts. It has a lot of new growth. This, I'm going to be on my tippy toes right now because... I can't see. I hope it's full still up there. Can you tell me if it's full? I'll know when I edit it. Yep. I'm just going to put it in existence. And it's full. It's a gorgeous plant. It's on this cute little head planter that it just doesn't fit in it, but I haven't potted it up. <laughs> this is my Rick Rack Rick Rack Cactus. And it has a new growth. Rick Rack Cactus. That was hard. Now, guys, this is Repsalis C. And I don't know what it is. This has thicker leaves than the other two. So I'm just trying to figure out what this is. I know it's a ripsalis. I'm, it, it's clearly growing for me. And it's fine. But, you know, I want to know what you are. Who are you? Who am I? I'm John, I'm John. That's a... Uh, <laughs> what musical is that? Put that in the comments. And then this guy is my fishbone cactus it's a little different from the rickrack i don't know they might be the same who knows now this is the hoya that doesn't hate me yeah so kudos dude thanks for not hating me love ya and i'm really hating my watermelon pepperoni right now because it's really calling me out it's so calling me out i need to water it so bad okay guys that is the end of my tour today isn't that awesome we did it now, if you got to the very end, I want you to put in the comment section a little unicorn so I know who was able to watch it the whole way through because you guys are the realest. Again, my name is Maylin. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you like this video, like it down below and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. Until next time, guys. Bye!